if you've played any tournament matches or league matches, then you know what is to play under pressure. And to learn how to play under pressure, to learn how to get used to that pressure is essential to your game. There are many simple but very effective ways to learn how to get used to the pressure. And in this video, you see very simple practice routine that is going to help you play better under pressure. Different players feel differently under pressure. Some players, they start, start to shiver a little bit. They shake on the shot. Their hand starts to shake or their head shivers. Other players, they tighten up their grip hand too much. They tend to stop their hand at the moment of contact of the cue ball and so on and so on. Some other players, they, they just freeze and they, their brain cannot work properly. They can decide what shot to play and so on and so on. And to get used to the pressure, you have to, you have to make that situation on your practice. You have to represent that situation in practice routines. So the idea is to play a practice routine, any practice routine, and to play it like a real match. So for example, if you set up the lineup, the simple lineup, a routine that I really, really like, it is very good to learn the basic shots, and the basic shots are super important. <coughs> Sorry. So if you set up the lineup and if you Tell yourself that this is a real match, best of five match, first to three, and you win a frame if you hit a 50 break, or 20 break, or 30 break, depends on your level, it could be 100 break. Let's say 50 break is the target. If you hit 50, you win the frame. If you don't hit 50, you lose the frame. And here many players are thinking that it is very easy to hit 50 on the lineup, but then when I put the routine, when I tell them this is a real match, if you make 50, you win, if you don't, you lose. Then they usually start to make breaks around 20s, 30s, and they cannot reach that 50 so easy. So here you start to play the routine and the target is 50. You put a red, then you put a black, and then you move on to the next ball. And so on and so on. And then you're gonna reach around 40. So you've played red, black, red, black, red, black. And let's say you've reached 48 and your target is 50. Here you're gonna be feeling that pressure. A little bit because it's practice, it's not real much. It's never gonna be the same but still that helps a lot to start learning the pot balls which uh, you have to pot. So here, let's say my, my target is 50 and I'm on 48. I have a red and a black. So I'll get the red in. It wobbled a little bit. And now the black is the ball to win the frame. Here you have to Teach yourself to keep your concentration here and now, to keep your concentration on the shot. You should not be thinking about previous shots and you should not be thinking about how to clear the table, for example, because you're too far away from that. You should be thinking only get the black in and make position for, for the next ball. You're going to be feeling that pressure, but with potting balls like that, then you are going to become more confident that you can do it under pressure. And now that's 56. Then you continue your break and you win one frame. Then you play it again. And imagine if it's 2-0, then you have to play a decider and then you have to to, to make 50 break, you're gonna be feeling some pressure. This is very, very good way of training 
alone and to start getting used to that pressure. I promise you're going to be feeling it. We're going to shoot a lot of videos about pressure, about mental toughness and how to peak perform. Many things I learned from this book, Applied Sports Psychology. It's uh, from Gene Williams. It's a very nice book. If you, if you read it, for sure you're going to find a lot about sports psychology. But uh, I'll be showing you a lot of things in the videos, how to peak for perform, how to cope under pressure, and how to become tougher mentally. See you next time.